What's going on, your dogs? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be painting my S13 finally. If you haven't already, go watch my video that I posted last week. So that video is just about me masking the car up, getting it ready for paint. So I actually filmed that yesterday and today, and then today I'm gonna be painting the car. I've pretty much got all the panels spread out. Everything's pretty much ready to spray. I just need to wipe over everything with wax and grease remover, and then pretty much just mix up my paint and start to paint. So I'm gonna start doing that now. Um, I'm not going to be using this camera to film because this camera is too expensive to get overspray on. I've got a little, um, I'll show you guys this one here. So I'm just going to be using that to film because it's just so much smaller. Um, unfortunately, I'm just by myself today. I haven't got anyone to film for me. So I'm going to try my best to film everything as much as I can. But obviously, I'm painting a whole car. So I don't really have two hands to hold a camera. You know what I mean? So first things first, I'm going to wipe over all the panels with wax and grease remover. And then after I do that, I'm going to start mixing up my paint. So... Let's go. All right guys, so I'm having two slight issues. One is that usually when I paint, I usually have someone here with me to help me carry the airline around. So that way the airline doesn't hit the panels when I'm painting. So that's gonna be hard. So I have to look out for the airline just so that I don't smack it against the panels whilst I'm painting. Another thing is usually before I paint the car, I usually mask up everywhere around the whole garage. So I get the masking film, like the plastic sheet, and I literally mask from the top all the way to the side, all the way to the bottom and I put like a, a plastic sheet all the way around the whole garage so there's no dust whatsoever. But like I said before, I'm here by myself so I don't really have anyone to hold it, hold up the plastic while I tape it on and stuff so I'm not gonna be doing that. So I do expect a lot of dust to get on the paint. Um, in saying that, I'm gonna be sanding the, the clear and buffing the car anyways regardless because I want it to have like a perfect mirror finish so little bits of dust in it won't really affect it too much because regardless we're going to be cutting and buffing it so i'm not really too fussed about that but i just thought i'd let you guys know that this isn't usually how i paint my cars but i'm going to just have to make do because it's literally like a thursday morning and everyone's at work so i can't really get someone here to help me so i'm just going to do the best i can obviously there could be a better job if i had people here with me but let's just do whatever we can with what we've got all right so the car's actually ready to paint now um i've wiped over the whole car with action grease remover i've tack ragged it I went over all the body panels as well. So all that's left now is just for me to mix up the paint, which I'm currently doing right now. Uh, but I thought I'd just quickly show you guys something that I'm gonna do with the bonnet. So I'm kind of doing like a custom thing with the bonnet. I'll just show you guys, it's easier to show you than explain it. So I put a little Gianna Garage sticker on the carbon fiber bonnet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint over the sticker. Then I'm gonna take the sticker off. And then obviously because the bonnet will be red, it will say in carbon fiber Gianna Garage. Then I clear over the whole thing. So it'll be a vented bonnet with a gown of garage carbon insert um, on the vent. So I don't know, it sounded pretty cool in my head. If worse comes to worse and it turns out shit, I can just sand it back and then paint it again. But I'm pretty confident it's gonna work. Like I don't know why it wouldn't work. The only thing is when I peel the stickers up, I don't want the paint to rip up. But I guess I'll like let it dry and I'll do it slowly so it doesn't fuck up. So hopefully it turns out well. If it doesn't turn out well, I'm not gonna like crop this part of the video out. I'm gonna show you guys because you know what? Mistakes happen. Things do go wrong, not everything goes as planned. So I just thought I'd show you guys something that I'm gonna try to do. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Like what, what can you do? Let's mix up the paint and let's paint because it's getting hot and it's perfect time to paint right now. All right, so I just mix up a pretty big batch of paint. I think that's about 1800 mils, 1 1.8 liters. That's the color. It looks so much like more blood red in person. In video, it sort of looks like a, like a bright red, but it's like a really dark blood red. It's hard to explain it, but once you guys see it in person, you'll be able to see exactly what I mean, but it is a very nice color. All right, let's paint.
I just finished the first coat of base coat. So everything's done, all the guards, bonnet, body shell, bars, doors, everything's done. This color doesn't cover very well, so it takes a long time. Uh, I'll quickly show you guys how it is. But look how sweaty I am, like literally, holy fuck. I'm like dripping with sweat. When I'm painting, I can like see drips of sweat like drip down and I'm just like hoping it doesn't fall into the paint while it's gonna fuck it. Sorry if you can't hear me very well. I've got the, the makeshift uh, fan set up. That's the fan set up there. Also, that's the heater setup. I don't know if I showed you guys before, but the heater setup. There, all the base coat is on now. The whole car, the doors, everything's done. That probably took me about, I'm gonna say about 20 minutes, um, which is pretty good, but longer than I expected. And we put pearl in it, so that's what it looks like. It's really hard to see it when it's not in the light, but it's like a lot of glitter in it. It's already got a lot of pearl in the color. I just wanted to make it just a little bit extra, just, just so when the light hits it, I want it to sparkle. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm just gonna wait for the base coat to dry for another five minutes maybe, and then while I do that, I'm gonna be mixing up the clear coat, and then um, I'm gonna take off that down garage sticker on the bonnet so I can clear it all now. So let's see how it goes. That was so much harder than I thought, and it was so like nerve wracking. I was so worried the whole time, but I did get the stickers off the bonnet. So I'll quickly show you guys. Like I said before, it is a carbon fiber bonnet, so I stuck a sticker on there, painted over it, and I peeled the sticker off. I was gonna try to record it, but every time I record something, it's gonna go wrong. So I was like, you know what, I'm just not even gonna bother recording it while taking the stickers off. But um, yeah, it went well, everything came off good. I didn't ruin any of the letters, luckily. Um, it looks so cool. Once I put clear coat over it, that carbon will pop. It's gonna look insane. I just wanted to show the fact that this bonnet was carbon fiber. I didn't wanna leave the actual vents carbon because it's just like such a tacky thing to do, like everyone does it. So I was like, I wanna do something different to stand out and obviously this is a car I'm gonna keep forever so I was like you know what I'm gonna put gown a garage on the bonnet so there it is boys some custom shit let's go let's do some clear coat Alright guys, so I finally finished painting the car. I finished probably about six hours ago, so I've just let the paint sit around and dry. This is currently how it's looking at the moment. Mate, can you stop making noise over there with the foil? <laughs> Alright, so this is how the paint's looking right now. Pretty fresh. Like I said earlier, I was expecting to get a lot of dust because I didn't tape off the corners of the garage and the side walls, so... I did end up getting a lot of dust, but we're gonna be cutting and buffing the car anyway, so that's not really an issue. This is how the bonnet turned out um, with the Gown Garage carbon thing. Looks pretty sick. And my favorite part, the front bumper, came out pretty good. Okay, better than pretty good. It turned out literally perfect, literally. So that's the front bumper. It's like so shiny. Can you guys believe that this is the front bumper that was smashed up that we had to repair with fiberglass? And then yeah, got the rear bumper, the guard, still got the heater pumping, got the boot lid with a lot of dust on the boot lid for some reason. 
The doors came out really, really nice. Um, not really too much dust on them. So that's pretty good there. And yeah, other than that, that's pretty much everything that we painted today. Give us a gaze, mate. What's going on down here? Yeah, uh, just rip it in some of that. Get a bit of welding job. Oh, that's so blinding. Wow, look at the precision on him. Ooh. Ooh, not Ooh, bad. Can you see it, brother? That looks I can't even see it. Oh yeah, number. Stack of dimes, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Alright guys, that's gonna end this week's video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, hope you guys learned a thing or two. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bro, you said that like three times already, bro. When? <laughs> oh yeah. When? Alright, see you mate. Chance. <laughs>